I just told you guys a minute ago that it is possible sometimes to go out there and win in the court of public opinion, uh, operating on that principle that sometimes sunlight is the most powerful of disinfectants. But one of the things that I've learned is that fighting in the court of public opinion sometimes is not enough. There are occasions where we as Christians need to litigate in the court of law. And I'm going to give you an example of that. You may think that people are well-intentioned with campus speech codes. They just want to make people feel comfortable, right? No. What did Steve McNamee say? They pick and choose winners and losers in the marketplace of ideas. But you know what? This is identity politics. You see, it's a political weapon for them. Certain political interest groups on our campuses, the Gay-Straight Alliance is just one example. There are others. I don't mean to pick on them. There are many. They consider this to be a political weapon for them to shut down speech that they can't rebut. I've got a definition, by the way, for hate speech. I think it's speech that the, hate, that the left hates because they lack the intelligence to rebut it. And so they use this as a weapon to attack people. Does everyone understand this battle is not about principle at all for them. It is all about identity politics.